plastic bags have taken over Portugal. Forty years ago, Portugal was a poor agricultural land and organic for lack of funds. Today, it is Europe's champion consumer of plastic bags. The average person uses more than 500 a year. The video artist Nuno Costa has responded to this with humor, creating the character of the melon comic. He stands for the Portuguese consumer, the man with two plastic bags. Plastic bags tell us something. Even if a person is concerned with the great existential questions, then plastic bags bring him back down to earth. They connect us with banal everyday life, however important we think we are. With plastic bags, we all look alike. The Melon comic depicts life's absurdities. Here a team shoots footage for the television series by Costa, The Melon Comic. I wanted to show how Portuguese the plastic bag is. Showing a Portuguese person without one is like showing Humphrey Bogart without a cigarette. Costa came up with the idea of the Melon Comic one day when he found himself holding two plastic bags, looked around and saw that almost everyone else was carrying them too. In Portugal, plastic bags are omnipresent and unavoidable. Look, they even give you the country's biggest weekly paper in a plastic bag. Costa sees the plastic bag as the symbol of the everyday burden of the modern consumer, like himself, a patchwork family, two boys who have to be picked up from school, grocery shopping and cooking. These things turn the artist into an earthly, normal person. So does a routine trip to the supermarket. Supermarkets are the bottomless source of plastic bags. A flood of them pour out of the shopping centers every minute, and the Portuguese have surrendered to this without resistance. We Portuguese are very good at pointing our fingers at others, at the government and our neighbors. But we don't accept our own responsibility for the common welfare. For the environment, you need a sense of community. And so the Portuguese are a burden on their environment. Things already in packages are bagged once again, each item separately, or at most, two to a bag. If you don't like it, you can line up at the ecological cash register and pay two cents per bag. Other cashiers would use six or seven bags instead of just two. The solution is to stop giving away free bags. But there are other reasons to stand at the green register too. I'm here because there was no line. Costa in the normal line only wants one bag for everything. It causes irritation and disrupts the flow. This bag will tear under all that weight. I tried it. I said, just one bag, please. He just laughed as if to say, OK, buddy, be the hero. So I succumbed to the pressure of the market. I thought, OK, don't be a fundamentalist, take an extra bag home. I don't think the Portuguese will follow ecological constructs. Costa works at the private television channel K. K is the letter Q, but it's also the word what? Nuno Costa isn't questioning his work, but maybe the poetry of his images will lead his countrymen to think about their consumer behavior. Because the Portuguese have always been world champions in poetry. <laughs> <laughs>